We wrote and edited this video prior to the David Leitch announcement, so have made some changes to the edit to align with this new information. The Deadpool 2 director is currently in talks to direct the sequel, and we expect a confirmation very soon. But regardless of that, we still wanted to share our list for other potential directors as we believe we had chosen some great fits for Jurassic. If David Leitch does land the role on this sequel, and if it really does jump the shark, then perhaps one of these directors could take on a future film, or a spin-off film, as we've selected some filmmakers whose style, tone and filmography would complement the franchise well. With that in mind, welcome back to Jurassic Outpost and this is our director shortlist for a future Jurassic Park movie. Starting off with the most far-fetched, but perhaps the most ideal candidate at this point in time, Steven Spielberg. With original screenwriter David Kep back at the keyboard, it makes you wonder if any other creatives who have been a part of making Jurassic in the past are toying with the idea of coming back. Could Steven Spielberg himself return to the franchise and direct his third Jurassic Park movie? While we're certain the director's time with the franchise is likely long behind him, maybe the time is right for the director to return to the franchise. You never know, he might be sat with David Kep at this very moment. Next up, and one that many fans are hoping for, it's Bryce Dallas Howard. Our very own Jurassic World leading lady is currently a contender for director. Bryce has directed multiple episodes of both The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett in the Star Wars universe, each showing directorial improvements over the last, showing how well she wields the action, the drama, and the thrills provided to her by the story extremely well. Her episodes of Star Wars television are among the most enthralling and serious of any in the series, and many believe her skills behind the camera are fully on display. Her ease of execution, tone, and intensity in a franchise setting shows she really would be perfect for a Jurassic World sequel. Bryce's directorial work shows how well she can work with both large set pieces and science fiction storylines, two staples of a Jurassic movie, and how her handling of characters perfectly complements that. We are joining the chorus of those who say, let Bryce Dallas Howard direct a Jurassic movie. John Krasinski is a longtime fan favorite on this list. When A Quiet Place debuted, my first thought was if you replace the creatures with velociraptors, then you've got yourself a Jurassic Park movie set on the mainland. The movie was able to capture that very isolating and terrifying feel that is essential in a Jurassic film. John Krasinski has had a successful career and has worked across a variety of genres and projects, but it wasn't until 2018's A Quiet Place that he really came onto people's radar. One of the most intense and gripping horror thrillers of the 21st century, it uses both alien creatures and their effect on humans to inflict true terror and suspense on the audience. Preying fully upon the effects these things have on the audience while also being an engaging family drama makes A Quiet Place pretty outstanding. This approach to story, to writing, to the direction could provide a basis for an excellent Jurassic movie. The filmmaker has certainly demonstrated the skills required, so the question is, would he do it? Next on our list is filmmaker J.D. Dillard. With a collection of movies under his belt, including 2016's Slight, 2019's Sweetheart, and 2022's Devotion, the young filmmaker certainly has the talent behind the camera, but it's his 2019 film Sweetheart that aligns most with the elements that would make a very fun Jurassic movie. Sweetheart tells the story of a young woman stranded on a remote tropical island following a boat accident who must fend off a monstrous presence that only emerges at night. The fantastic film is both thrilling and terrifying, I mean it really is pretty scary, but is also a story of one woman's power to overcome a monstrous creature. Sounds like a concept that could fit instantly into a Jurassic story.
The Yaniak, most recently known for the Fear Street series, is one of our top picks, and despite the fact that there are new Fear Street movies now in development, we couldn't lose her from the list. Lee has proven her ability to tie multiple stories together in a cohesive manner, something that is essential for a modern day franchise. Fear Street might be a horror series, but Lee has shown herself as a director capable of delivering on a clear vision, something necessary for the next film in this franchise. Dealing with complex themes and placing her characters in truly challenging scenarios, Lee is not afraid of the gritty realism of life, of death, and the terrifying situations in which those two things intersect. The Fear Street series was bursting with tension and consisted of three movies tied together with a large payoff at the end. This left the audience feeling satisfied with the mysteries as they played out and not disengaged with any of the complexity. In the real world, and as depicted in the earlier Jurassic movies, humans, well, were pretty unlikely to survive an encounter with a carnivorous dinosaur. We believe Lee would not shy away from the realistic nature of prehistoric dinosaurs and humans coexisting, an enticing and entertaining concept that we would love to see in future stories within this universe. William Eubanks Underwater was released in 2020 and it's a sci-fi action horror movie set at a research and drilling facility at the deepest known part of the ocean. After an earthquake destroys part of that facility, the survivors have to establish a route to continue to survive trekking across the unexplored ocean floor. With a fantastic cast of characters including Dominion's Mamadou Ache and Silicon Valley's TJ Miller, Underwater captures the essence of a Jurassic Park movie, isolated terror. Mysterious and terrifying ocean creatures hunt the humans in this story, but something William Eubank is able to deliver well is the feeling of awe and majesty that still comes from seeing this uncharted area of the ocean and the unknown creatures that it contains. Despite the terror, there are some well-portrayed moments of uneasy awe and wonder at the breathtaking situation these characters find themselves in, a scenario the Jurassic Park franchise often delivers on. Not to mention that William Eubank himself has a handful of films under his belt that all demonstrate the skills as a filmmaker that would be required to make a successful Jurassic. With 2014's The Signal aligning itself with the sci-fi genre and containing a careful balance of drama and thrills, it's another suspenseful movie worthy of your watch that aids in the case for William Eubank to direct the next Jurassic Park. Our next contender on the list should need no introduction, it's Charlie Brooker. Charlie is mostly known for his award-winning psychological sci-fi drama series Black Mirror, which has covered an array of diverse topics which mesh genres to create some of the most thought-provoking TV in recent years. One of Charlie's earlier pieces of work is the series Dead Set, a horror mini-series set inside the Big Brother house when a zombie outbreak happens outside, leaving the survivors alone trapped inside. This series perfectly demonstrates Charlie's ability, even over a decade ago, to write substantial tension, portray unsettling isolation, and execute long drawn out sequences that build up to a truly satisfying climax. The series Black Mirror has an array of compelling characters, navigating complex themes and stories in compelling, in intimate and thrilling adventures. The show expertly mixes techno thriller themes with wonder, awe, adventure, and manage to serve the story and characters rather than work against them. Black Mirror's terrifyingly real portrayal of near future science fiction concepts would also be a valuable skill on a Jurassic project. If you're familiar with any of the filmmaker's work, then it's safe to say Charlie Brooker might be one of the best picks to take on the complex themes and thrilling storytelling necessary to make a sequel worthy of the very first Jurassic Park. David Robert Mitchell is another contender on our list. His psychological horror film It Follows won over audiences with its unique take on horror and slow burning scenes that drag you to the edge of your seat. Mitchell depicts truly terrifying scenarios for his characters and we think that this would apply truly well to a Jurassic story. If you take the scenarios depicted in It Follows and apply them to the Jurassic Park franchise, I think this filmmaker has shown that he could bring us the scariest Jurassic yet. And not only that, David is currently working on his own dinosaur movie titled Flower Vale Street. Not much is known about the project, but it's set in the 1980s and currently has Oscar Isaac and Anne Hathaway cast, and is said to be a mystery thriller with shades of a quiet place. Jurassic Park or not, with dinosaurs involved, this one sounds exciting. 
If you've seen the 2014 sci-fi movie Ex Machina, then you'll know that filmmaker Alex Garland has demonstrated his own love for Jurassic Park. Having written the zombie horror 28 days later and its follow-up, when it comes to the screenplay, Alex Garland certainly has it covered. But with David Kep penning the script, could Alex Garland take on the role of director? His directorial debut Ex Machina dealt with isolation and artificial intelligence and was nominated for an Academy Award. From the very opening of this film, you feel isolated and alone, just like a successful Jurassic Park movie. The helicopter drop-off, the isolated jungle location, and the complex characters are all aspects that would contribute to a great sequel for Jurassic, and you're never quite sure if Nathan Bateman is a villain or not. His character is as real as all real-life quote-unquote villains, and just like the better villains that we have in Jurassic, you're left questioning whether they're actually the bad guy. Alex Garland handled heavy visual effects in his second movie, Annihilation, Based on the novel of the same name, Alex's take on the Annihilation story is certainly a visual masterpiece, and the movie shows he is comfortable working with complex set pieces and something that is rather important in a Jurassic movie, large creatures. Garland's strong sci-fi skills continue to be seen in the 2020 series Devs, a thrilling and dark story about a computer program that can mathematically predict the future and map the past. This series deals with what revolutionary technological breakthroughs can bring with them and what happens when you oppose them. Sounds like a plot that would fit nicely in a Jurassic story. The series also features another great Jurassic reference, showing that Garland might have a soft spot for the classic film. A frequent collaborator of Garland and the director behind 28 Days Later is Danny Boyle, and honestly, we also think he'd bring us a very unique take on Jurassic. The British filmmaker is behind such cult movies as Train Spotting and the previously mentioned 28 Days Later, both of which descend into grim, thought provoking horror. Hannah. 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 Twenty Eight Days Later reignited the public's interest in zombies and has become a cult classic ever praised to this day. His other work includes 2007 psychological thriller Sunshine, 2008's drama Slumdog Millionaire, 2010's survival drama film 127 Hours, the 2015 biopic Steve Jobs, and the 2019 romantic comedy film Yesterday, showing that this filmmaker has delivered well-regarded movies across a multitude of genres, all of which have received quite positive reviews, the majority actually being very highly praised. Danny Boyle is one of the most successful British filmmakers to date, and in 2009 is quoted as saying, To be a filmmaker, you have to lead. You have to be psychotic in your desire to do something. People always like the easy route. You have to push very hard to get something unusual, something different. Danny certainly wouldn't be a director to bow down to studio pressure. He believes in his work and his ideas, as proven in his varied and highly adored body of work, and maybe his take on post-apocalyptic horror and his ability to make things feel gritty, grounded, real, is exactly what this franchise needs. However, given the recent announcement of a 28 years later movie moving forward with both Alex Garland and Danny Boyle, perhaps we can cross these two off the list. After all, it is time for a third 28 Days Later. Hello? Our final pick on our director shortlist for Jurassic World 4 is Dan Trachenberg. Hot off the modest budgeted prey, Dan has proved himself as someone who can take on an existing property and breathe new life into it, something Jurassic World 4 is aiming to do with its new era. Prey received mostly positive critical response and is considered one of the better sequels in that franchise. Dan's directorial feature debut was a film set within the Cloverfield universe, 10 Cloverfield Lane. While this movie originally began production as a separate entity, J.J. Abrams and his company Bad Robot morphed the original story into the Cloverfield universe, which allowed Dan to play with a pre-existing universe while once again breathing his own ideas into it. 10 Cloverfield Lane is arguably the best of the three Cloverfield movies, and its psychological horror and very isolating aspects make it a very tense, thought-provoking movie that will leave you pondering. Best of all, it features a small suite of compelling human characters and is loaded with nuanced storytelling. We need that in Jurassic. 
both 10 Cloverfield Lane and Prey took an existing big budget property and under a much smaller budget than its predecessors, allowed Dan Trachenberg to craft a smaller, more tight-knit story that brings the concepts and themes back to their roots, while once again breathing new life into them. Honestly, this type of approach could fill many of the Jurassic franchise's current needs, while also providing a major thrilling hit for general audiences. Whoever the director is for Jurassic World 4, we're excited to see how they breathe fresh life into the franchise and its lore. Now we have some honourable mentions of course. We had Matt Reeves on our list and while his skills and style could work perfectly for a gritty intense Jurassic movie, we believe the filmmaker is locked up in the DC universe so the idea of him taking on Jurassic just seems a bit out of reach. Jason Reitman is another filmmaker who we think could pair well with David Kep for a Jurassic movie. The director has proven his skills on the modestly budgeted Juno and Up in the Air and more recently helmed larger budgeted movies like Tully and Ghostbusters Afterlife. The filmmaker's work on the Ghostbusters property reignited the flame of that franchise and won over fans and critics alike. While not directing the follow-up Frozen Empire, Jason did write and produce the sequel, showing his dedication to it. Given the chance, and if he was interested, we think Jason has more than proven he's capable of breathing new life into a franchise while also respecting its legacy. Though he does have plenty of exciting projects in development, he certainly will remain on our watch. Finally, there has been some talk among fans of a return to the director's chair for J.A. Bayona. His classic horror influences and methodical approach to suspense create very entertaining stories and we would hope if he came back to the Jurassic franchise he would bring along his cinematographer Oscar Fora back for another go as well. However, with his interest in non-Jurassic projects and the studio seemingly intent to usher in a new era, his return seems less likely than others. The truth is there really are so many talented directors out there who could take on the job. It certainly is easy to imagine directors based on their past projects, but the real question is do they have an investment and belief in the storytelling potential of Jurassic? Ultimately, you may have noticed a theme with our picks. We want to get back to the basics of what made the first Jurassic Park something special. An intimate story, nuanced themes, compelling and believable, sort of the earth characters filled with thrills, believable stakes, and the imaginative wonder to leave the audience in awe. We think the move to bring back David Kep is an effort to do just that, and we can't wait to see if it works out. With the news that David Leach may enter the world of Jurassic, we are now more concerned than ever about the future of the franchise. While he could very well surprise us, and we sure hope he does, his filmography just makes us wonder why. The course correct this franchise needs it's not going to happen by hiring the director of Deadpool 2. But hey, that's just my opinion. We'd love to hear yours down below in the comments. As we mentioned last time, be sure to check out all of the films mentioned in this list. They are definitely worth your time. If not for David Leach, who would be your choice to take on the next Jurassic World? Share your thoughts down below.